So, I vlog. You got something to say? Yeah! How's it going everybody? I hope all y'all having a fantastic day. And today, today is kind of a sad day. This is actually kind of like my last day of the semester today. But, like filmed in the last video, this is Casey's only semester here, point blank period. He didn't tell you guys this, but he broke his ankle. He, he's not coming back up. So, I have to pack all this stuff for him, film everything when I'm done, and I'll show you guys what the damage was, but yeah, it's depressing, so, I'll f Well, these are the last two things in Casey's room. Casey will be officially moved out. Uh, oh, by the way, Casey, I kind of put a hole in the wall right here, but um, I, I covered it up, so hopefully they don't know I blame it on the next person. If we do have a next person, I don't even know. I hope I don't have another roommate. Just like that, Casey's room is cleared out. I have completely filled up my car with all of his stuff. Completely cleaned out. 100% done. It's awful. I want to talk about Casey for a minute. Me and Casey were both late to come to UW, if that makes sense. He knew an opportunity was going to be here for him to play basketball and for me to play football, so we both came here. And it was just like an automatic click. It truly was. It was like an automatic click with Casey. And I couldn't have been like more happy about it. We already came like friends over text and stuff like that. My mom came up and we are moving me in and stuff like that. and get a knock at the door, Casey comes in, as soon as we just come in, just hugging out, shit like that, like, it was exciting. And, like, the more and more our moms talk to each other, the more and more that we talk to each other, like, all of us realize that, like, this is the best possible situation any of us could ever be in. So, like, just from the get-go, I was extremely blessed to have Casey as my roommate, 100%. We'd hang out every day, we would talk every day, like, it was just an everyday thing. Seriously, like, this dude became my best friend, and without a doubt, is the best person I ever met coming up here. Like Bella, Brad, and Katie, and Austin, you guys are awesome people. Literally awesome, awesome people. I'm very grateful to have you guys in my life, too. The dude became a brother to me. Like, I knew after a certain point that he was going to leave. I, I knew why he was doing it, and I accepted why he was doing it, and honestly, I I'm proud of him for doing it, and uh, he did what was important for him and his family, and I, I support that 100%. I'm pretty sad. I'm pretty depressed over it. The dude, the dude will bring light in your life. For anyone that's ever met Casey, you know that. He brings light into your life. To Casey, um, I want to say thank you for literally everything you've ever done for me. I understand that we both went through our own little struggle with being up here. Just know that you have put a smile on my face every day. It was a highlight, highlight of this semester. I'm so beyond blessed to have met you. And I'm honestly really happy that we're not that far apart when we do go home. I want to thank you for also being my first cameraman. Literally my first cameraman ever. Like, you were the first person to step up and do it, and I really do appreciate that, and that means the world. And it should mean the world to you guys watching this video, too, because a lot of the videos that were made while I'm up here would not be possible without Casey. So I want everyone to thank Casey in the comments and all that, and go follow his Instagram and all that other stuff. I just want to say... Thank you for everything you've ever done for me. It truly does mean the world. I was blessed to have you as my roommate, and I'll never forget you in my entire life. When we make, when I make it, it's gonna be we, because you're gonna be with me. Listen, this is. Love you too, bro. And appreciate everything. Yeah, of course. And uh, y'all make sure you like, comment, subscribe to Martin G2 <laughs> Chain. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving right now, but I'll be back later in later videos. That's my dad in the back. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you. I was just, I've been driving for the past six, six and a half hours. I just kind of want to, I want to sit down and talk for a little bit because, um, finally I have a break and besides the point, I kind of want to just sit down and talk about manifestation for a little bit. It's something I hold very near and dear to me. First off, we're trying to get 200 subscribers by the end of this year. If we make it to 200 subscribers by the beginning of 2023, before midnight, January 1st, 2023, I will wax my chest on camera for you guys for the video. It'll be fucking hilarious, I promise you. These past couple months of me uploading videos, I've learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about myself through football. Like, that's when I really started to discover the kind of person that I was. 
and then doing this again, started doing YouTube videos again, um, that really actually kind of propelled me to where I'm at now and made me realize that this is everything I want and I'm not going to give up. I'm 100% with my goals. I will either succeed or die trying. I'm going to make YouTube work. I'm going to make YouTube my career and no one is going to stop me. A lot of people have gotten in my way before and no one has really pushed me over. And manifestation is a huge part of that. Not a lot of people thought I would play college football. Not a lot of, pe a lot of people thought that I would be able to do that. But what did I do? I went and I got seven college football offers from all over the country. I, I worked my ass off for that. And you know what? No one stopped me. No one took that away from me. I told myself I was going to meet Waka Flocka. I knew I was going to get on stage. That was just the mentality I had. I manifested that shit constantly. And I knew it was going to happen. So the next big thing for me to manifest is honestly just this and succeeding. And you know what? Though people have gotten in my way and I haven't exactly achieved all of my goals, the big ones have been achieved. This is another pretty big one. And at the end of the day, no one's going to stop me and no one's going to outwork me. I'm going to bring out the best videos I possibly can for you guys to enjoy so that you guys can share it with your friends and all that and hopefully I hope I can inspire you guys watching this video or inspire the people around me that's because that's my main goal in life I want to I want to inspire those around me and make those around me happy and I'm gonna do that however I can and if YouTube's the way I'm gonna do that if it's through college football however I'm gonna do it I, I know I'm gonna make it happen and that's the reason I'm here but yeah, I kind of just want to say a little bit of that and things like that, so. <sighs> I'm fucking tired, dude. I just feel guilty.